do this as fast as possible without dying or messing up. Way to bite the bullet so far. You don't even complain about the prison food, which is shocking because that stuff tastes like doo-doo casserole with a side of butt salad. But best of all, your riveting performances have the theater bursting at the seams with excited patrons. And with all this extra cash you're raking in, the theater can afford some serious improvements and really start beefing up these horrifying shows of murdery death to appease the fickle crowd. So, so that's good. And what's the deal with Hattie? He just creepily looms around the theater all day. Look at him looming. It seems like he's been forcefully forced to manage this place. Well, it looks that way. He just sort of sits there. Just as productive as one can be. Yep, living life to the fullest. Whoa, slow down, buddy. Yes, sir, full of salt and pep. Full of pee and vinegar. Overflowing with youthful energy. Say something, Hattie. <laughs> Cat got your tongue? Shut up. You know, people really seem to be a precious and rare commodity in this strange part of the world. Seems our little boat wreck was a delicious gift from the heaven gods, and these bizarre cats are taking full advantage of us. What cruel fate left them to roam the grounds of this scary old theater, desperately ruling these bleak premises with an iron f paw? And just how long have they been orchestrating this sinister scheme? I mean, avert your eyes, children. Avert them! There's bony people skeletons everywhere. Scary, right? Now, I'm no genius, but I definitely know how long it takes for a body to decompose, so this must have been going on for at least- Oh wait, scratch that thing I said. <clears throat> so do you possess the courage to soldier onward and uncover the mysterious mystery behind this grim world? Or will your hilarious death screams be drowned out by the sound of your own hilarious death screams? We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. You see?
Use your attire, sire.